Hi there, welcome back to the Think Tank. Online learning in this video, we're going to look on mass using triple integrals. Okay, so we're given that a solid is bounded by, okay, these are the limits for y, which y ranges from 0 to x, and also given these limits x squared plus y squared, which ranges from 1 to 9, and also given the limits for z, z which ranges from 0 to arctan or i over x. Okay, so given that the density function is so the density in this case the function is not a constant is 3z find the total mass of the solid okay so what are we going to do we're given we're given the density which is 3z the volume okay you can calculate the volume and now we need the mass okay so from science you know that density is goes to mass over volume so that means if you want to calculate the mass, we're going to multiply both sides by V. You're going to see that the mass is going to be density times volume. Okay, so we're just going to use the same the same technique here. Okay, but in this case, our volume is not going to be that easy to find. It's not given actually. We are going to we are going to find it. Okay, it's not that hard, but they say it's a bit of a process. Okay, so now what do we know we're given these boundaries okay so i think if you sketch these boundaries it is going to be easy for you so let me try to sketch this region okay so this is the this is the region i've tried to draw it in two dimensional okay so as you can see let me write what we have here okay we say these are the limits for y so that means y is equal to x and y is equal to zero and we have we have this so this is x squared plus y squared is equals to one which is the lower limit x squared plus y squared is equals to nine which is the upper limit and for z we have z is equals to zero and z equals the arctan of y over x okay so now what do we know these are the these two equations are the equations of of circles actually they are cylinder since we're in 3d okay so as you can see this is the x y plane okay so this is the x plane let me make it here okay so this is the x plane so i'm going to see we have a circle so this is the circle right and this is the second circle i'm going to draw the x y plane later okay in order that we have this we have this plane okay so what do you want to do here Okay, you are going to use cylindrical coordinates. Because cylindrical coordinates, I think those are the only coordinates that is going to make our work easier. Okay, so let me sketch these two. Let me sketch these circles and these lines in the XY plane. So what is my XY plane? Like I'm saying, I'm going to say X and Y. So here is Y and here is X. Okay. So let me start by the line y equals to x. I think everybody knows this line. This is y is equals to x. Okay, now I'm going to y equals to zero. So this is y equals to zero. Okay, and after that, I need to draw this circle. So this circle is the radius of one. You remember the equation of a circle is form of x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So I'm going to draw my circle right here, which is the radius of one. But I'm not going to draw the whole parts of the circle since my y is greater than 1. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to draw here because you see all my x values are, ranging, are in the positive quadrant. Okay. Then I'm going to give another circle. This one is radius of 3. x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. Okay. So you said we have 1 here and we have 3 here. Okay. So what is the region that we're talking about in the xy plane? So this is the region that we're talking about okay so now what we're going to do we're going to use our cylindrical coordinate okay fortunately for the line y equals to x we know that the line y equals to x divides this divide the x plane the x-axis and the y-axis so that means the angle right here is going to be 45 that is pi upon 4 right this is pi upon 4. If you need to calculate it, let's say you don't know, you can do that. What you can say, you're going to find the length of this the length of this line. Let's say this point, 
so the point when this graph intersects with this one so we're going to see that we're going to have one here after that we're going to find the magnitude of this line and we're going to use trig ratios okay so if you say cos cos theta is got to adjacent of hypotenuse you're going to get your adjacent okay so now i'm going to write my limits so the theta ranges from zero to pi upon four this is the shadow of this of this solid okay now what about r the radius okay as you can see we are now concerned about the region that are concerned about ranges from one to three okay as for y okay as for y you can see that we don't need zero well, we're just we're, we're on the upward side we don't want this side so some of you may say this region ranges from 0 to 2 pi that is totally wrong and for x some may say this range is from 0 to pi and for x you can see x is, is starting from what it's starting from 1 up to 3 okay and but y is limiting everything so that's why our angle is becoming pi upon 4 now we're moving on to z okay so as you can see this this limit is something else but it's easy but the way it is it is not it's not in good form okay so for z since i'm using cylindrical coordinates we know that x is equals to r cos theta and y equals to r sine theta okay so let's see what is y over x so y over x is r sine theta divided by r cos theta okay there's something familiar that is coming up sine theta and cos theta that's going to give us tangent r over r it's going to give us one so that means x over y is equal to tan theta okay so for the limit of z z is equals to the actan of tan theta okay so now actan of tan theta okay is same as saying theta Okay, let's say we don't know any examination. Okay, some of you may want to prove this. All you can say is that you go to your calculator and say actan of tan 50. You're going to get 50. And if you repeat, if you just choose any reasonable angle, you're going to see that this is equal to theta. So that means our z, our z, our z depends on the angle theta okay so we're going to see that z ranges from zero to theta okay so now let's set up our integral okay remember we're finding the mass so i'm going to write here mass is equal to density times volume and this is going to be the trip integral of the volume and I'm going to say times 3z, which is the density, and I'm going to say dv. Okay, so let's do that. For, we're going to start with r on the end, or the angle, sorry. 0 to pi upon 4, you can just start with r, it's just fine. And now I'm going to the radius, what is the radius? So the radius is from 1 to 3. Now we're moving on to the values of z, 0 to theta. And for the density, we have three z here. Yeah? Our Jacobian r and r d theta. Okay, so this is going to be the mass. Okay, let's do that. So first of all, uh, okay, I've forgotten d z. Yeah? Okay, so it's three z d z. So first of all, we're going to define. We're going to integrate respect to z. So it's from zero to pi upon four, one to three. So you're going to have three z squared over 2 z ranges from 0 to theta r to r the theta okay now what we're going to say upper limit minus lower limit so if we say you're going to see we're going to get 3 theta squared over 2 and if you put 0 you're going everything is going to be 0 r to r the theta and try by all means not to forget this r Okay, so these are some of the problems I faced as an undergraduate. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to integrate respect to R. So, from 0 to pi upon 4, we're going to say 3 theta squared R squared over 2. 
And remember, we have two here. Our limits, one, two, three. The theta. Okay, we've integrated respect to r. So just added the power two divided by the new power two. Okay, so now let's do that. I'm going to say upper bound minus lower bound. And what are we going to get? I'm going to get three theta squared over four. As for r squared, that is going to give us nine. Okay, minus three theta squared over four. As for r squared, going to get one. And I'm going to say the theta. Okay, let me confirm. We said three squared, which is nine, two times two, four. And here, one. Okay, so like this. Okay, so now what we need to do, let's simplify here, 0 to pi upon 4, and to get 24 theta squared divided by 4, the theta, okay, this is 27 minus 3, okay, now let's see like the respect to theta, we're going to get 24 theta to the power 3, 4 times 3, ranges from 0 to pi upon 4, Okay, so when theta goes to zero, I'm going to get nothing. Okay, so now what you need to do, I'm going to say 24 pi upon 4 cubed divided by 12. And that is going to be the equal. This is going to give us the mass. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to say pi upon 4. And it should, your calculator should be in radians. Okay. So it's pi upon 4 to the power 3. And you need to multiply that by 24. And you have to divide by 12. Okay, and if you do that, we're going to get 0 0.9689 SR mass. So this is the mass of this solid. So now, if you like this video, just show me by liking and subscribing. Okay. And don't forget to share. Stay well.